What's going on, Jesus? This is Daniel from Josh and Danny SEO. So we're going to talk a little bit about websites. So right now, a lot of uh, what you're getting might be a uh, word of mouth. It could be like Facebook or like maybe even Yelp or something like that. But I'm going to show you what happens when you do have a website. So there are something called buyer intent keywords that people will put into Google. So let's actually uh, take a look at what a buyer intent keyword is. So right here, I'm going to put in painters, right? That just signifies what it is I'm looking for. Now, if I'm just searching for painters, that's gonna be very useless. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it very much more focused by going for painters in Austin. So people just do this. They put in Austin. Now, as you can see right over here, you know, people will put in different things, painting Austin, Minnesota, painters Austin, Texas. Let's just pick painters Austin. We're gonna click on that. So right here, we have a list of everything in the area. So we have some ads over here. Their Google guarantee ads, make your money back or something like that. I have no idea. But then we got your Google ads. So we got Five Star Painting, which is a franchise, SprayNet, which is not. And then you have, uh, I don't even know what that is, Austin Painting Company. But these are ads that people pay for. Um, every time you click on it, it actually charges them. So don't do that, you know, unless you need to. But then we got the Google My Business page. So these people um, have directories that get them to this area. 30 to 40% of everyone who goes online searching for anything will click on one of these three people. Um, and then after that, we get to the uh, organic search. So this is where everyone can you know, rank and end up at if you're doing the right things. And as you can see, we got Yelp. People don't like directories. They would rather just go to an actual painter instead of having to go to a directory and then search for the 10 through the 10 best painters instead of just going to the website of somebody prominent. Um, so we get to this website, text painting. He's got his uh, little bar over here with which shows everything he's doing. He's got a drop down menu, which is nice and about us. Honestly, a little showy for certain things because you would just have typically a home, a service page and about us and a contact. Now he's got his number up here, which is click to call, which is exactly what you want. And then he has a schedule now, which is probably a link to his uh, email. So definitely really good stuff you really want. Schedule now again. He's really in your face. Now, one thing I wouldn't say, uh, would say to get rid, this green line here, get rid of it, put it over here instead, or by the contact number. Um, but this follows you around, so that's already going to hit on him. Now, we're looking for those kind of keywords, right? How did we find him? We typed in Texas, uh, sorry, we typed in Painters Austin, right? So if you look right over here, he's already got one. Austin, Texas Painters. That is a huge keyword. Any variation of that is gonna be kind of a good keyword. And I'm gonna take a look behind the scene in a second and show you. But as we go through the website, he's got it clearly everything labeled with links that if you wanted to find out more, you can find out more. Uh, professional uh, residential, see Austin, Texas painting contractors, another big keyword people search for. And as you just scroll through, he's got a lot going on on the website. Big points against him though, like I said, is this thing following you around because it takes away half the screen. No one likes that. Also, there's not a lot of content to read. Now, just scrolling through it, it's actually, it's a decent website. Just a couple things would need to be done. This lists all the areas he's uh, he's in, just in case. These are location pages that will go to, you know, maybe an About Us, uh, an idea. And these are the things he works with. Now, if he has a good website ranking on the top, I'd probably not want to even pay Yelp or Angie's List or any of these guys anymore because my website is doing it for me. And then this is just the footer with all of his links to his social media, which are very important. But let's take a look behind the scene here, Jesus. Find out what's going on. So... This is what's going on at the back end of the website. So you have a UR rating, which is how strong your website is. And then you have a DR rating, which is how much Google trusts you. As you can see, he's doing pretty good. He's got a 35 and a 30. Now you wanna keep these in the 30s to 40, so he's doing well. Now, how do you get these up? Backlinks. So a backlink is where you're linked to your website. Theoretically, this is somewhere else that leads back to you. Now, Obviously, he's only got 256 that come back to him. So he's got the links out there, but just none of them are follow him back. So, and not only that, not all of them are created equal. So because he has a DR rating that's high, that means his referring domains are probably pretty good. All we would want to do then is just click on that, find out what they are and steal them for ourselves, which is kind of fun. But then we have organic keywords. It's what are those people searching for? So let's take a look and find out. 
So here we got 9,500 or 9.9 thousand people searching for this penny back bridge. Problem is, is it's not very specific because if you look over here, it's more of a blog or a visit. So people who are clicking on it might be doing it by mistake or they're not really doing much. So he's getting a lot of traffic from it, but it's just not really good. Um, Painters Austin, though, that's getting 500 people searching for that a month, and he's getting 57 of those people, a little over 10% of what everyone in Austin is searching for in that because he's in position number three. And that's exactly what I typed in to find him, me along with 500 other people. But then as you kind of scroll down, House Painters Painting Austin, 350 search for it, he's getting 38 of those people, again, 10% because he's in the third position. So positioning is very important. And the volume is very important. So the higher the volume, the more we're going to want it. This one's got 350 people for drywall repair, Austin. 25 people are searching for it, or 25 people are coming to his website out of those 350, and he's getting, he's in position number five, so page number one. So he's doing really well with grabbing those big high keywords, and he's in the position to accept the traffic. So how does this help you? So essentially what I would say, uh, best practices we get you a website we build it not very big something really small we have a home page maybe a couple of service pages we add in all those keywords that you know uh, would get google to notice you and we take his backlinks and we put it on yours and bam even if you can get what was it he's getting a 1.2 thousand uh sorry yeah 1000 and 1200 people come on his website every single month if you can bring in 200 people a month just from a website, what would that do for you? Well, that's all I got, Jesus. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to call back uh, or reach out with any questions. Uh, if you have any feedback, of course, I would love to know. Have a good one. Bye.